while to get here. Outside it's pretty cold at the moment through Scotland, northern England, down to the East Midlands and East Anglia. That's where we've got the frost, minus four degrees in quite a number of places. And that's where we've got the clearer skies. Further towards the southwest, we've got more in the way of cloud. It's producing mostly rain, but as that wetter weather comes into that chunk of cold air, we could well see a spell of sleet and snow for a while, say from the Midlands northwards up towards uh, Scotland. So quite tricky if you are going to be out and about later tonight. May well start with a spell of sleet and snow for northeast England and across Scotland tomorrow morning. I think it should turn to rain as that wetter weather creeps its way towards the northeast of Scotland. For all of us, it's going to be a cloudy, dull, and probably quite misty and murky day, I suspect. Further spells of rain from time to time, particularly across northern Britain, probably turning quite wet for western Scotland and Northern Ireland during the course of the afternoon. Signs of something a little bit drier, though, as you head your way down towards the Midlands. These are the temperatures we're looking at, and that cold air is still clinging on to eastern Scotland and northeast England, three to five degrees here. But elsewhere, what a difference. Double figures for Northern Ireland, Wales, southern England, and for the Midlands as well. That milder air should be with us all for the beginning of next week. Double figures just about everywhere. Not much rain, just a little bit clear in the south coast, some coming into northern parts of Scotland. There will be a lot of cloud, but every now and again we should see a little bit of sunshine coming through. Perhaps on Tuesday, the cloud thickening, a bit of drizzly rain, particularly in the west, but for all of us again, it will be mild. I'll see you tomorrow.